uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the uh, hummingbirds that I made and I'm going to show you um, how to use them and the different type that I got. And the hummingbirds are basically a third hand uh, that you could use when you're soldering. Uh, we all know that when you solder and you put flux in and then you heat it up, everything moves on you and then you got to readjust it to get it in the right or proper position. Now, uh, this is different than the uh, uh, tweezers, uh, the, so I'm going to show you uh, how they work in a different type that I uh, I made. Uh, my name is Eli Ganim and uh, welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. These here, which I call them the single uh, hummingbird, and the reason I call them hummingbird is because of the point on them. It's almost like a hummingbird. So uh, I got three different types of these. Uh, they're all the same, except they're different sizes. So I have uh, this, this. This is one inch. I got uh, inch and a half and two inch, and they're all half inch thick. Uh, the reason for that you get different weight uh, to use them. So um, if you need more weight, you you could increase the size of them. So this is one uh, one set or one type. Uh, the other one I got is um, this one here, and this one it's two inch long, but it's quarter inch. Uh, wide so if you have two quarter inch and you put them together then we got uh, half inch thick by two inches uh, the reason for that is you could take this one off and you'll be half the weight or if you need more weight you just put this one on top and do it and there's also other way to use it so I'm going to show you how to use this one the other one is um, also different weight, this one inch by three eight thick and it's two inch long and again it's different weights than the other two inch. You could see here the uh, the thickness is different on these two. Um, the, the last one that I got is what I call the Tri humming, Hummingbird because it has three points and each one is different. So this one here is just it's a straight point, same like the other ones. Um, this one here it's a flat uh, face or flat point, and the other one it has a V point right on the top. And you could use it for different application that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so let's say we are trying to. We have this bezel and we got to put it in and uh, we need to hold it in the right position. Here I have a pattern uh, on this one here that the bezel has to be in the right position. Now everything is stamped in the back so I have to put it in the right position and hold it properly so I can't have it uh, moving later on. So I could use uh, if I'm using this one here, all I have to do is just go in and lock it in that position. And here's another one. Uh, or actually, I could take even a smaller one. And these are all the same same type. So I could use them like that. And now that's held in position. I just go put my solder in my flux and uh, just solder normally. And that thing is not going to move. So these are the one type. If I have the other one which is the double which is this one here it will act the same way. I can put it the same way like this so I put it on top and that's going to hold. Uh, now because I have only one you could see it's just moving on one side but if I have another one that will hold it in position 
but let's say assuming that we got only this one here what I can do is take the one outside in the back put it sideways and that will hold it in position and then put extra weight if I need to so if I put some extra weight right here that will will help it to hold it down if you leave it in the back what happens is that the weight in the back lifts it up and there's no contact so if you put it sideways you need to take this one out so it will go down and then you add your extra weight to it and that will help it to bring it down so these are the two halves that we have uh, I also made something similar to that which is a little bit different on on weight so if I'm taking this one here um, this is only 3 8 of an inch where the other ones are half inch so you can see the difference here and this one again you could use it the same way you could go in and hold it down like so and that will uh, will hold it. You could also put it sideways like that but you're going to need a weight to it. This one doesn't have a second plate but you could still use the same way which if you have any other weight you could, you could just add it in here and that will hold it but it's mainly used to go like so. Okay um, so these are the um, different one that I have and how you use them. Now the last one is the Tri Hummingbird like I was saying it has three points and you could just put it down and hold it. You could use the flat point, the point end or you could have the V end. So why do we use the V end for? So let's say if I want to do if I want to do a, an earring and I need to put a post, small post like this one here, so take this one out. So I have the uh, post in, and uh, usually what I do is a sweat solder. So I put a solder here, put it on top, but it has to be in the right position. I cannot have it moving around uh, so I got I use the V end and that will go around the post and hold it down and I just al align it to the proper position once it's in the right position that will hold it in the center and that's not going to move anywhere so once I have it like that all I have to do is just <clears throat> heat it up and it's going to solder right away. Now, um, all these uh, pin are what I did is I have a um, treated it with uh, the yellow ochre, so it won't the weld will not stick to it. Also, they're uh, heated. So when you use them, you don't clean them, you don't need to clean them. Remember because if you clean anything the solder will uh, stick to it. If you have a dirty surface like we all know uh, the solder will not stick to it. Um, so don't clean them and, and the other thing also don't put uh, flux uh, on the tip because if you put flux on the tip uh, the solder might stick to it and you don't want to do that. Okay, so leave them dirty, you don't have to clean them. Now, uh, also they're used if, if we want to do a ring so let's say this is it's a square bezel, I'm going to put it in and I have the ring shank is already done which is let's say this one here okay and this I mean you can't, you can't hold it so it won't stop. Not only that you also need to line it up because since this one's square do I need it from uh, angled at 45 degrees or I need it square to the top that's up to the design that you want but whatever design you want you put it in the center and you just hold it in position 
and that's not going to go anywhere. Here you go. Now this is because the shank is is rounded, okay? It's it's arced. But what you need to do is usually the area where you're going to solder down, I usually file it, uh, give it a flat. So when I put it in, it, it sits in the proper position where I want it. Um, normally, I will have the solder uh, of the shank itself down at the bottom, just in case I have to adjust it later on or I have to cut it to increase the size. Uh, it's always at the bottom um, of, of your uh, ring. So the top, which this will be on top, but the bottom is, you can always cut it and you can always fix it. So that's why I put it on the bottom. Anyway, um, if you have, for instance, something like, like this here, and also that's a different one that you need to put a ring to it. And here I put this one in, same idea the solder on the top and this will align it properly and just hold it in place so once it's adjusted all I have to do is just go in and uh, heat it up solder it while it we're done okay so that's for this also if I need to do something like this one here which I did some okay this one here that's already done and this is copper and the bezel is silver and if I want to put it it has to be right in the center so I can't have it move on me when I when I when I solder especially with the copper at the bottom you need more heat for the copper and what I did again it's what uh, sweat soldering which I have the solder at the bottom of the bezel Put it on top, align it, and I just hold it with one of my hummingbirds. And it doesn't matter what which one I'm going to use, they're all going to work uh, properly. So as long as you put it in and you hold it, um, it it's going to hold in proper position. And that's not going to move at all from me. So once I heat it, um, I usually put it uh, on the charcoal block or I put it on a screen and I go from the bottom heating the copper and then that will uh, uh, will melt the solder and it will hold it in position and it's going to look something like that here. So all these hummingbirds they're different shape, different sizes and uh, each one has its own application and its own use. So, if you need anything uh, of these, just let me know. And also, the next video I'm going to make is going to be um, on how to build and make these dies for your hydraulic press. These are very nice and neat and very cheap to manufacture. And you end up with something like this. And these are very nice, you can see that and different shapes that you want to do so don't forget to subscribe if you didn't yet don't forget to push that little uh, uh, bell that you have so you get notified right away uh, whenever I put a new video in and if you like this video please share it with your friends share it with your group and enjoy it have a great day and see you next time